face. The Factotums reported a strange energy signature in Gascon's rectory. Did you find anything odd in there? Sounds like a nocturnal shrike. By the gears, how did that thing make it past our security coils? Is Gascon... Not suspicious at all, is it? A sudden departure followed by a Daedra attack. You're right. I knew Gascon was a conceited slaggard. But consorting with Daedra? I pray it's not true. We need to discover what he has that the Daedra covet. Proctor Luciana might be able to organize a search. She just left to disperse a crowd. I hope you catch Gascon soon. We need to know what he knows immediately. Birds? Not that I'm aware of. He might be tinkering with some kind of avian automaton... But he rarely discusses that sort of thing with me. Why do you ask? Wait, feathers? From a live bird? Unprecedented. As far as I know, no living bird has ever set foot or wing in Clockwork City. And even if they did, they wouldn't last long. Not a lot of worms crawling around here. They do eat worms, right? Fascinating. I've always wanted to see one. Under better circumstances, of course. I'll notify our naturalists once we resolve this situation with Gascon. I'm afraid not. Gascon keeps his own counsel about what he does outside the Basilica. He spent a few days out in the radius last month, but that's hardly unusual. Apostles conduct research outside the fortress all the time. Mathematics, mostly. Predictive theory... Spherical values, virtuous enumeration, that sort of thing. He just published a dissertation on transdimensional calculation, making inferences on how numbers change during planar travel. Impressive work. The specificity of his calculations just boggles the mind. It's almost as if... It's almost as if he had access to a planar rift. Oh no. I don't want to even consider it. Not until we have proof. Birds? Not that I'm aware. I knew this wouldn't end well. I'm not here to speculate on Lord Seth's whereabouts. I'm here to clear the square. You don't know, do you? I knew it! This is a disaster! If you want to panic, do so in your own homes, not in the public square. Now disperse, or be dispersed. Get them moving. You heard the Proctor. Return to your homes. If you're looking for Lord Set, I don't know where he is. I will find out, though. Count on it. Gascon, what has he done now? I can't keep up with the complaints. Good. Maybe a fabricant ate him. Our luck has to change at some point. So, he finally graduated from corrupt hobbyist to professional villain. I'm almost relieved. Now we can finally give him what he deserves. I assume you informed your sponsor, Provost Varuni? A citywide search? I can't spare enough apostles to search a broom closet. Reports are flooding in from the radius. Stories about fanatics in black robes, pale-skinned Daedra, living shadows. We may have a full-scale invasion on our hands. Hmm, I have one asset I can spare. I know an artificer, Dalimar. He takes some getting used to, but you won't find a better tinkerer. He can help you find Gascon, guaranteed. 
Go talk to him. He set up shop near the tenements. Slagtown. I knew that slag-addled piece of garbage Gascon would turn on us eventually. We should have dealt with this decades ago. I think we should destroy it, if only to convince the people it can be destroyed. I'm already getting reports from citizens convinced that their neighbor or their friend is actually a shadow. Another few weeks of this, it will not end well. I'm prepared to live with that. I made a vow to protect the Clockwork City and its inhabitants. If sacrifices have to be made, we should all be prepared to make them, Lord Set included. You can ask. I have a crank in between my shoulder blades. One of my auxiliaries winds me up every morning before breakfast. That's a joke. In the same way as every other Clockwork Automata. A combination of engineering and sorcery that would take a century to explain. The machinery keeps me alive. I know it's unsettling to look at, but no one ever said life in Clockwork City was fair. The same as you, I wager. A combination of heroism and coincidence. I served Reman Cyrodiil as a battle mage during the Akaviri Troubles and the Valenwood Annexation. Yes, I'm still not exactly sure what happened. During the Valenwood Campaign, I locked staves with a wood elf spell leader named Keladith. He was deceptively powerful, wiry, quick as a skeever trap. I remember cleaving his staff with a summoned blade. Possibly. I think he was in the midst of a translocation spell when my sword made impact. There was an explosion and a bright light. When I woke, I was splayed out in the radius. Mangled. Yes, his factotum scooped up what was left of me and brought me here. He mended my wounds and replaced what couldn't be mended with metal. I asked him why. Because one day you will shine a light, he said. And that was that. Always. Take my advice. If we manage to find the real set, don't expect him to embrace you as a friend. We're all cogs in his eyes. Valuable. Beautiful, even. But ultimately expendable. You either grow to accept that, or you turn out like Gascon. Yes, bitter, sullen, probably traitorous, and if I get my way, dead. full of fleshy bits. Not a scrap of brass on you, is there? That won't do, that will not do. I can fix you up, no bother at all. Maybe new feet. You need new feet, don't you? A missing person? How mysterious. You wouldn't be looking for Sotha Seal, would you? I hear rumors, you know, all kinds of rumors. Something about him turning into a crow, or was it a frog? Never mind, Luciana did you a favor. I have just the thing. Whoa! Cool those cogs, you twitchy rascal. This little scrap heap should do the trick. Neat snuffer. There he goes! I just replaced his leg springs, so try to keep up!
Wake up, Johnny! Visitors! Useless. What are you doing nosing around here with that ugly beast? Johnny and I haven't done nothing! Chancellor who? Oh! You mean that brass-assed fancy boots that came running through here? <laughs> yeah, I seen him. Dragging his silly apostle skirts behind him like a broken wheel chain. Seemed like he was in a hurry. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Yeah, the grease mucks up Dabrick and Snoots. That's why we stay down here. Wouldn't want the constable to see you. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Your man headed vest. Should be some oily footprints about. Follow those tracks and you'll find your fancy boots. Chancellor beat you to it. Who are you? Another one of vile, sniveling agents. Gascon's gone. Now let me return to my mistress in peace. West, in the ventral terminus. He may have killed me, but he won't last long. He sealed his fate the moment he betrayed us. There existed a covenant between your Gascon, Clavicus Vile, and my mistress. But he broke it. Now he will drown in blood. Night mistress, I am coming. Gascon vowed to bring us an artifact of great power. Now the artifact is gone. But don't worry, my mistress will wring the truth out of him soon. The whispering shadows will claim this artifact, and you will all die, deafened by your own screams. You really have no idea, do you? Daedric forces conspire in every dark corner. Look behind every tree and stone. We spread like a plague, claiming more souls and territory with each passing hour. So the seals precious city will die at our hands. Yes, Scarfin and others, they serve their purpose, and yet they linger, confounding my mistress's plans and providing safe harbor to that toad, Gascon. I will say no more. Gascon vowed to bring us an artifact of
Thank <laughs> you. 
Outside, all right? I promise I will explain everything. I know how this looks, but you have to understand. Those shadow cultists meant to slit my throat. I had to leave. My life was in danger. Don't you see that? Fine. I made a bargain with Clavicus Vile. I know. Questionable. Just hear me out. All he wanted was a key. If I got it for him, he'd make me the ruler of Clockwork City. Unfortunately, someone stole the key before I could deliver it. Some daft talking crows. After that terrible business with the Shadow, I returned to my office to think. I arrived just in time to see one of those disgusting birds make off with the artifact. I panicked and ran here to hide. On my life, I did not. I wanted to heal the city, not destroy it. If I had known, I swear I never would have gone through with it. Yes. My methods were unconventional, I admit it. But you have to understand, I didn't do this for me. I did it for the city. Look around. Bloodthirsty fabricants, barren wastes, crumbling towers. This is all Sotha Seal's fault. He abandoned us. While he tinkers away in the Centralis, we scrape by, eating nutriment paste and hiding from killer machines. Is that fair? Should we thank him for that? My eyes are open. The people of Clockwork City deserve better. I thought so. Look, bartering with Clavicus Vile was unwise, I know. 
Offering Daedric artifacts to Dark Princes, it was a mistake. Even so, I can be a useful ally. I know our enemy better than anyone. You need me. Business back in Vardenfell. I can't be late. I need to leave. Forward and cry. Forward to the front of the Still nothing on security coils? Where could he have gone? But I am he clearly fled the fortress. Finally. I've been pacing a hole in the floor since you left. An engine can only idle for so long, you know. Did Luciana find you? Did you find that Skeveton Gascone? Gascone is dead? Well, he left us no choice, right? Good riddance, I suppose. I'll send some reclamation drones to collect his remains. Now, what's this about Clavicus Vile? The Clockwork City owes you a tremendous debt. Gascone's death is was necessary to safeguard the people. Now we just have to follow the clues he left behind. Obviously, we need to recover this mysterious key. I don't know where it is, or what it does, but if Daedric princes intend to mount an invasion over it, we can't afford to let it slip through our fingers. Gascone insisted that talking crows stole the key from him, right? We should start with them. According to the constables, the birds started stealing things as soon as they arrived. I've never seen a crow before. Is that sort of thing unusual? Hmm. Well, the fact that they arrived so soon after you revealed the shadow is suspicious. But they seem more interested in simple mischief than anything else. Ask around the Chancel of Transaction. Perhaps one of our constables can tell you more. The sermon has never prepared us for something like this. Perhaps when this is all over, Lord Set can write an addendum on what to do when talking crows and Daedric monsters come calling. Not until today, no. They're really quite beautiful. Aside from the mocking and stealing and, you know, defecating. I read that birds come in all sorts of colors. Is that accurate? Hundreds? Fascinating. I'd very much like to see more of these birds, for research purposes, of course. Introducing a foreign species to Lord Set's creation could result in all kinds of unforeseen errors and deviations. What? No, no, no. I have too many responsibilities here. And to leave Set's side? It's an absurd suggestion. No offense, of course. Clockwork City is my home. I have no desire to leave, no desire at all. Now, we have work to do, right? It clearly possesses some great power. Keys exist to lock and unlock doors, right? I assume they want to unlock something. We don't often rely upon locks, but I guess it's possible. Maybe an Apostle's chest or some lower sections of the Incarnatorium? I really wouldn't know. What happens in the Cogatum Centralis remains a mystery to pretty much everyone. But don't worry. If Lord Set locked something away, no mere key could open it. Certain. I mean, I guess it's possible that... No, no, I'm certain. 